Go Nichiwa, me and Suzuki, you're watching Saturday with Tommy. Today's Timmy First Person video is going to be a part three to a Switch collection. And that is Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1. Today's featured game is new Metal Gear Solid. Real quick to reiterate, this is a great collection, uh, but you do have to have 32 gigs minimally to install everything, um, even if you buy the physical copy. And it is one player across the board uh, for all modes. And I'm been really excited with what they've been including as bonus material uh, in each of the apps. So this is the well, third app we're trying out. Let's see what's in here. So as always, Tim is playing game first, so I'm playing game of Vision of oh, I can't skip anything. Let's get the timer started. Time is started, and away we go. All right, let's see what's inside this one. Okay, so. Basically, as it says, it's, it's the book which allows you to um, read everything as a script. So, pretty cool that they do that. Um, you get the master book right here, which is going to be the big blue book. So you got that. And game selection, which is what is amazing to me to see that we have game selection with Metal Gear Solid. So we get basically the VR missions, but we get all three of them. So the US one, the UK one, and the Japanese one. Honestly, I don't know if there is a difference besides language or not, but it's great that we actually have all three of them available uh, for us to do. I will be honestly just doing a video featuring just these two since I had to download the other two. Um, so let's get started and I'll try and show some of the VR ones, but I don't think I'll be able to get to it. So I'll do later videos of all of the additional games on a later date, because right now I'm just focusing on the app and what's in it. So that's edit save data. Huh, that's cool. So I was thinking about like doing something like, um, you know, not doing um, a video for each game inside the app at, at this rate with there being you know three additional titles this one alone I'm going to have to do it so I'll just have to do it later so it's funny because they have the VR training included in here but then you have it separately and all that which is great because those are pretty good Die less and not be too difficult. Die normally. You will die with no way. And then extreme it, it is stupid. It, it no. And then there's even extreme extreme on the other ones. Hi! So uh, let's go ahead and do normal. Yeah, I tried the super extreme on twin snakes and it was stupid. So, you gotta be very careful about getting everybody just right, or you can dodge everybody. But if you mess up... Okay, this brings back memories. It really does. This is just absolutely astonishing what they were able to do on the PlayStation 1.
This is Snake. Do you hear me? Loud and clear. Where's your snake? Here we are, we're going back to the way up. Mm -hmm. Down to the surface. Nobody sees you. Okay. How I love it because they actually won't read it to you. Okay, we're here. Drug cancellations. Which is weird because I thought it did, but they may have changed it because. No, that is weird. It's supposed to have audio during that time. But looking at me, smalls rat. Okay. Do you know what I mean you got to be very careful about sound? Yes, snake. I mean, I left the ground. Crap. Forgot about that. Well, not much you can do. I heard no no way. Mr. Elevator, come on. Yep. And now he's gonna sit there and just continue to see look where I'm at. Here it comes. Downside is with another person. Uh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on, you did not see me. See what I mean? <laughs> Okay, we have two minutes. Let's go ahead and do VR. Oh, man. There are no... I don't know if you don't do out of here. Oh well, we'll just do here. Head for the goal while avoiding the enemy soldiers. Training ends here. Uh, you're safe. Ah, yes. 
I got at least that one. <laughs> I can't believe I died at the elevator. <laughs> Use a radar effectively and head for the goal. Enemies cannot see behind an enemy. Yep, good thing they're just good ones. Those ones are stupid. Take the safest path and head for the goal. Crawl when necessary to get through narrow spaces. And there goes the timer. Okay. So, it's great to see that we actually do have... Well, it's the PlayStation 1 games. It's fantastic. Also great to see that we have all the different versions of the VR missions. And it's great to see that the mechanics are working just fine in the game. Yay! <laughs> So, yeah, you gotta be very, very careful in this game. Um, I know some people are like, well, well, how do they see you? It's like, I know you guys can't hear because I always turn off uh, the audio, but there's puddles of water. And I happened to make noise and I got caught. So it's very important to be very careful when not playing this game because any foreign print, if you will, or any foreign sound that shouldn't happen, guards are aware of it. And depending on how much difficulty you choose, is how more aware they are. And the um, Twin Snakes, they do have extreme and like super extreme. I decided I have to try this, just to say I tried it. You know, and I was going to do it. Without any uh, codes or anything to do it. Alright, as soon as I get out of the water, instantly, I heard something. They all come running. I had to like sit there and stealth. It's like... Then they slowly walked away. I don't think that I made it to the elevator on Super Extreme. I couldn't get away from the water. Like, it was, it was, it was bad. So, yes, it is possible to die in the first area just because you are supposed to be stealthy and there are certain ways you can walk and go, which you won't run into water. You gotta be very careful with that just because if you do, well, there's nothing, there's nothing you can do, you know? You just die. And even in the second part, where you're outside in the snow, if you leave footprints, they can instantly make, hey, that's not my footprints. We have an intruder. Man, I, oh, there's just so many instances while playing the game that were fun, but at the same time, super tedious. You're just like, why? Why can I not do it? And that's how the game really makes you feel sometimes that everything really is your fault. If you are not careful, you will die. I am not looking forward to the Onslaught torture mini game where you have to keep your stamina up and you gotta push the A button uh, to stay alive, your action button basically, and you gotta keep it up. But there's a little thingy about it. Onslaught looks like, now listen here, you cannot use turbo controllers. If you use a turbo controller, I'll know, and I'll kill you. And uh, I did that Twin Snakes. I was I'm pretty quick at clicking, you know, buttons with my thumb. He thought I was cheating and killed me. I was just like, what do I do is follow the rules. Why? And so, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me epically fail on this one. I hope that's not a trend. This is Tisa Kurt saying ciao and sayonara.